The Utah wedding photographer says her camera bag that she used for a couple's wedding in Colorado was stolen during her trip. Her equipment and some irreplaceable photos disappeared at the Denver International Airport. That full story tonight from our sister station, KDNR. The first kiss as husband and wife. The look in a couple's eyes taking that vow of partnership for life. I love it. I love capturing just the pure emotion and love and joy of someone's special day. It's the best job ever. Amber Smith's career is built on helping couples preserve their big moments as bride and groom. It's what she was doing earlier this month when she flew to St. Louis for a couple's wedding. She'd planned her wedding for like two years, was so excited, is the sweetest person, and then just has this happen. This. The wedding photos now gone, disappearing with her camera bag during a layover at DIA. I had memory cards in the camera. Smith was flying southwest back from the wedding in St. Louis and had a connection here in Denver on October 8th. It got in around 1.15 in the afternoon. I wasn't feeling well, so I just got off the plane as fast as I could. And then when I realized I didn't have my camera bag with me, kind of freaked out and I went back and the plane had deplaned, the bag was nowhere to be seen. They said no one had turned it in. It wasn't in lost and found or anything, so it was just gone. Smith says a detective is now on the case. They'll look at the footage to see if someone walked off with this backpack. She had it under her seat last on the Southwest flight that arrived at gate C. Oh, it's the worst feeling. I'm like, oh, there's someone's wedding that's just disappeared and it's my fault. Her wish, someone was trying to help, has her camera bag with the memories of this couple's big moment. My hope is that they will at least return the photos. Um, equipment can be re replaced, but memories and the wedding day can't. Okay, again, that was KDNR uh, with the report, and they've reached out to Denver police and airport officials and are still waiting to hear back. So if you have any information about this, you can reach out to Denver Metro Crime Stoppers.